Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling. flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling. I'm like yeah, what it do, penthouse man what it What is going on, Rage Sports Lab Trade? Welcome back today guys to the channel, Top 10 Drifts of the Week is back on this Friday man Now if you guys were here last week, I issued a challenge to everybody on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 And that was to send in your best Gran Turismo Sport or Forza Motorsport 7 clips. We had a handful of people send them in, so huge thank you to everybody that did follow that and did send in your clips. Now, for everybody that did miss that, we are still doing top 10 drifts every single week moving forward. So if you guys do get some crazy clips, send them to the email list provided down below, the slap train business at hotmail.com. Fill up the template provided down below also. Send in your clips, either public or unlisted, and you too may be in top 10 drifts next week. Now, I gotta be honest with you, if you're sending in regular gameplay clips, now I'm talking in-game, please try to have the racing line turned off, man. I cannot stand looking at that in the in-game section. It just, it doesn't look realistic at all. It just kind of takes away from the clip, in my personal opinion. We also had Boa here sliding in a beautiful Ferrari 458 on GT Sport here. We're at the Autodrome. Now, I'm going to be honest, though. GT Sport is a very hard game to slide, so I can definitely appreciate these clips. We had a few single clips coming in this week. But next week, though, I want to issue another challenge, man, and that is very simple. The Tandem Challenge. I want all clips coming in. If you can, get a friend out there. Get a random in a public lobby. Start sliding with them. Throw something crazy. Send in your clip. Everything's found down below, but that's what I want to see next week, man. More tandems, more high intensity going down. Top 10 IRL clips of the day, man. Look at Motor Batty throwing in a lock tap, man. Not bad at all. We have Arthur's Bonders with an IRL drone cam follow here. Now, he said that this track is a very difficult track. This is his eighth time on the track for drift practice and the first corner you need to be in fourth gear he said no lift on that corner which is the one that you're looking at right now and then follows up to a 110 degree corner on that one there you have to come down really slow handbrake it in switching down to third gear huge props though to arthur for just continuously getting better everything that we have seen from him uh you know every clip is just topping the one previously to that However, though, I want to give props to the drone cam as well, too, because this man controlling it, uh, he knows what he's doing, man. I think the drone cam would be just as fun as actually drifting it, just to make sure you don't get in the way of the cars, right? I and mean, that's, that's the only problem. Number 10, though, top 10, Deer Tige 562 with a double barrel roll here on Lime Rock. He's going to continuously hold the line. Now, remember what I told you about the driving line? Yeah, I deducted some marks on this clip, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I mean, mind you, it was a great clip. Was it a little bit of luck? Yes. However, though, I like the fact that he stayed in the drift. You know, yes, the man flipped. However, you know, it didn't throw him off of his line. He continuously kept going, held the car. I like the clip. Number nine this week, Mad Bro YOLO, Gran Turismo Sport, FRS, here on the Dragon Trail, Seaside on a Drift Trial. Now, we're going to see him come in, huge speed, and he's going to completely rotate 360, hold the line, and finish this off very smoothly. And I mean, you can kind of tell that it was intentional on the 360. He obviously over-rotated on purpose, held it, continued the line. It looked good, man. Number eight, Fire Roop Chimp 580 here on Forza Motorsport 7. We're on the Prague section. We're on a long stretch of road right here, and he is going to toss in a huge reverse entry. And he's also going to give us a little bit of slow mo on these replay angles, man. You know, the little things is what I appreciate of these clips. Anybody can throw in these clips and send them in, but for, you know, someone to also edit the clip and make it that much more, I definitely appreciate that. Love the clip, held it in. It wasn't anything too crazy. However, though, he definitely did get a reverse angle on that. Held it out. I would have liked him continuously hold the e-brake, maybe swing it around, connect this section right here. But you can't get everything, right? It's not bad. Number seven, Royal Keep 420. Forza Motorsport 7 once again. We are here on Rio in a public drift hopper. Now, mind you, public drift hoppers can get pretty crazy. But these two guys right here are actually just randoms 
tandeming together. This is Speed Hunter in front of him, and uh, we're going to see a very nice, clean line here from Royal Keith. And you know, he makes sure not to disrupt his line, and that's one of the main rules in public drift hoppers. If you want to tandem, that's fine, but just be aware of the brake pedal. And that's all I'm saying. Number six, GT Sport. Kiran Dillon now, NSX, and he's going for a wall tap here on the Tokyo Expressway East Inner Loop. He's not done, though. He's going for two wall taps here on the Tokyo Expressway. Uh, very nice clip. Short, sweet. That's all you need. Number five, TPD Emi. Is it Emi? I don't know, man. I don't know. What I do know, though, this man has got a Genesis throwing it on Suzuka, and uh, this is probably one of the cleanest runs I have seen. I did get the in-car view as well, too. I felt like you would appreciate the clip more looking at it from the cinematic angles. Now, mind you, though, GT Sport is not as fast as Forza Motorsport Sport 7, so you got to keep that in mind when you're looking at this, because GT, though, uh, you know, it's a lot more of a realistic simulator in that sense. Now, mind you, he is definitely on a wheel. You can kind of see that with the wheels up front, uh, just, you know, minute changes as he's transitioning through here, but just a really clean solo run on Suzuka. I know this man's got friends. I want to see some tandem runs get sent in for next week, man. That's all I'm saying, TPD. Number four, DSI Logics returning Forza Motorsport 7 once again. This man just keeps sending me in clips. So I definitely do appreciate the consistency that this man has been doing. He is here on Sonoma running through a section uh, that has already been pre-set up. We have a camera car currently sitting as a clipping point in that sense. He's going to go for a really nice wall tap. Take out his rear tail light though in the process, which may be expensive on the 32, but he's also going to go for a second wall tap. The man says the tail light's gone. I'm not to go for the second tap. Definitely like the clip. Big thing for sending it in. Number three, Minty VTech. We're here on GT Sport. Podium finish for GT Sport though, at least, right? I mean, I'm glad that they at least got that. We have Minty VTech bringing them to that third place spot with a huge 130 mile an hour entry on this safety M4. And uh, I'm going to be honest, man, he is ripping into here on Dragon Trail. Seaside, once again, fan favorite looks like. I'd love to know down below, what is your favorite track to drift on on GT Sport? Look at this man. Huge angle, huge speed coming in. Very clean. He did cut it a little bit short, though. That's all I'm saying. Number two, boosted 427 and DSI Logics. Two heavy hitters once again. If you guys are wondering, uh, yes, this is the same DSI Logics. I put him in because this is a tandem run with Boosted. I didn't want to take away from Boosted's run because this man had a great lead run with DSI. They're here once again on Sonoma just getting some tandems, man. This is what I love to see. Just, you know, consistent, clean runs with these guys. And this is what they're good at, man. This is what they do. And I'm very happy that uh, you guys can also see their perspective through this. They're in cockpit view. Mind you, I personally like the secondary cockpit view that we just got, but to each their own, man. To each their own. Number one, Mr. Stigglypuff, Anthony PZC, and Breezy for a huge three-man run here on Prague through the tunnel. This is a very difficult initiation to do. Stigglypuff's coming in with a very hard entry. We have Breezy on the follow right there on that quarter panel. Anthony PZC with a huge run as well too. Just staying confident in the pocket right there. He's going to go for the overtake on Stigley. And Stigley just getting right back on the quarter. I love the chemistry with these drivers. However, we're not done, man. It's a vote for number one. I forgot to tell you at the start, man. I'm sorry. We have GT Sport, Evo Drifter X, and ISO Skyline with a huge FRS run, Suzuka Circuit East Course, and these guys are going to be throwing down some tandems. They get really close to the corners, and I figured this would be a perfect way to finish off our first Forza 7 vs. GT Sport episode. I'm going to leave a link up top for you guys. Who do you think took home number one? Was it the GT Sport guys throwing down tandems on Suzuka and some FRSs, or was it Forza 7 with the three-man? run from Stigley, Anthony, and Breezy. Remember though, each game has its difficulties. Obviously, GT Sport, it looks a little bit easier, but it definitely is a lot more challenging than Forza Motorsport, in my personal opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Top 10 Drifts for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle from GT to Forza 7. Let me know who you think won down below in the comment section. Game speed with a banger montage. I will leave this down below for you guys to check out. Full link 
will be there. And also, we had Killer X2NR with another really nice fan-made trailer for GT Sport. I thought this was really interesting. He combined a lot of the replay kind of cutscenes, angles and such in this. Definitely recommend checking both of those out. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'll see you guys back here next week for another episode of Top 10 Drifts. Four cars and they all that. Got four Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she 